Hello and welcome to another update video about Bitcoin. So Bitcoin saw a little bit of a surge earlier today, um, but rallied only the way this looks now. And we're really on a smaller time frame, on the smallest time frame that you can really use here. Or it doesn't make any sense anymore anyway, because the smallest time frames, they include so much non-human behavior, bot trading stuff um, that we need to sort of, yeah, I would not go below normally 30 minutes. Okay. But Looking at this, I mean, it rallied only in three waves. That to me looks like a three wave rally and we didn't even form a new high. So it's possible if this fails now that this wave two pullback is now finally unfolding. At the same time, if we can hold the intraday low and break above the Monday high, this would, in my opinion, strongly indicate that the blue count is taking the lead. At the moment, we are a little bit in no man's land. Let me take you through these patterns. Let's go maybe to the 30 minute chart. Don't need to talk about the overall um, scenario anymore because we did that in the previous videos and we wanna just keep it short and keep it to an intraday update here. So we're still dealing here with basically three scenarios. Um, they are all overall bullish, okay? But the degree of pullback that the market offers differs between them the yellow one is still that i'm you know what i mentioned in the last video i'm leaning to okay that's uh, what i highlighted in my last update i'm leaning to the yellow count which indicates a five wave move to the upside okay it's a bit ugly but it allows for you know us to count five waves up in a diagonal pattern from here a wave two pullback could start as like i don't know an a b c structure or something in a wave two and as long as we're holding the support area, and that hasn't changed since the last video, because the high hasn't changed, we haven't formed a new high. So the support area is still between 61,180 pretty much and 64,220. As long as we're holding above this support area, we don't at least break below the 78.6 retracement down there. So as long as we're holding above it, the expectations are for the price to form the yellow five wave structure to the upside. And then, yeah, possibly the next move up can take us in the third wave to 70K and beyond. But first of all, we need the wave two to fill in, see if the price can stabilize in this support zone. And then from here, there's a good chance a third wave rally could start. This is one interpretation that I will be leaning towards as long as the price doesn't break above 67,852. So I mentioned to you in the previous video that I can sort of justify this scenario as long as the price holds below 67,852 uh, because if we break above that level, which is here the 78.6 extension, it's becoming more probable that this is the blue count or white, okay, but yellow, in my opinion, as long as we stay below that level, because otherwise the yellow wave five of one becomes a little bit too long. So that should be clear now, the parameters for the yellow count, um, that would be confirmed further if we break below the trend line. So that trend channel is still holding, the lower trend line is still holding, and therefore there's no sign that this deeper wave two pullback has started. If it is, if it has started, then the smaller micro support area there, could be an area to watch for a reversal. Then we obviously have the blue count. The blue count is a more directly bullish count in which we're moving in a larger diagonal pattern. And in this count, we already completed a one, two setup with the wave two being quite shallow here on Friday the 19th, not reliable. Therefore at the moment, not the preferred scenario, but I will but basically yellow will morph into blue with a sustained break above 67,852. And then the blue third wave should take us sort of to 71K, I think. Yeah, 71 would be ideal here, the 1.38 extension. Now, until we get there, it could be blue or white, but the white count um, will become far less likely if we see five waves up as highlighted there in blue. Okay, so as long as it's only three waves up, could also be white, which will warn us that, okay, we could break down easily and form one more low. So these are the scenarios to watch. First of all, I think we need to be watching for um, 
what happens here now, if we get a break below the trend line that indicates wave two in yellow is unfolding, this is the clear support area very clearly defined. If the price doesn't lose up the upside momentum and carries on running, sort of the area around 71K would be the next key target range. And if we can then form a 4-5 pattern, that would make white far less likely. Okay, so at the moment it's, it's rather between blue and yellow because white is, well, we, we can't differentiate between white and blue anyway at the moment. So it's between yellow and blue and you always need to think about, okay, what's the key level that distinguishes between the two? And for me, that's 67,852 to the upside because above that level, yellow becomes less likely, blue becomes more likely. And yeah, but I said they are all bullish. You might ask how if the white count allows for one more low. Well, it's quite clear because oops, they are all part of the same overall bullish thesis in which we should either have completed a wave four or we get one more low in a wave four. And after that, we should see, not will, but should see a rally to 90K plus in wave five. But we haven't clearly, or we have at least no clear evidence that the wave five to the upside has started. So the overall thesis, yeah, if you zoom out and you wanna ignore the entire noise, is that we're going up and that the 50,720 level is the key bullish support level. And there are just several pathways, obviously, that the market could take. I can't strongly lean towards one scenario because the micro action is sort of not very clear, but best I can do is to share with you the yellow and the blue counts. And um, that I'm still leaning towards yellow, you know, as long as the um, 78.6 extension hasn't really broken, okay. But they're all bullish, so yeah. So from a tactical point of view, if the price dips back into the lower support region, I think that could be another um, opportunity to look for an entry point. If it just dips into the upper support area, maybe as well, depending on the time frame you're trading. For anybody who already entered, I think it might be reasonable to think about profit taking in the 71K region, at least partially, but not too, ma too many profits because the price could still rally into the 90K region. Now that's just very generalized, just what I think is reasonable, but you always have to think about what is right for you and your portfolio. That's my update about Bitcoin. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.